Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to navigate the appointment book within EMIS Web as well as how to book and manage appointments. Firstly, to navigate to the appointment book, select the icon on the toolbar at the top of the screen or if you're on your home screen you can select appointment book from your quick launch menu or the EMIS icon under appointments and appointment book. The first thing to do when looking for an appointment is to select the dates that you require. So select the dates on the calendar and you can either look at one day at a time by using the filter on the ribbon or you can look for a whole week. This will give you an overview of all the clinicians available for that week as well as the availability. To select the clinicians that you'd like to see sessions for you can use the session holder filters here that can be configured through the appointment config on the ribbon above. You can either select individual ones if you've got them added or group session holder filters or you can use quick pick to go to the search to find your clinicians. Locate them in the search and double click to add and click OK. The sessions for the GPs you've selected will now be displayed. You can filter to all day AM or PM appointments here and you can filter to a branch site if you have one from the filter here. To book an appointment navigate to the slot that you require and right click. When you right click, you can either book a new patient, the current patient or an unregistered patient. Alternatively, you can select book on the ribbon above here. When choosing book new patient, you will need to search for the patient that you wish to book into the appointment. The search box will be displayed, enter the details of the patient and click search. Then either double click on the patient's name or click and press OK. You will then have the booking screen available. So you can put in a reason for the booking and any additional notes if they're required. You can also update slot type, etc. if it's applicable. Check the email and the telephone number and then you can click book. The booking is now made. And if you hover over, you can see the details of the booking. An alternative way is to use the Find Slot option. In here, you can filter the date that you want to search from, different types of slots, and various other criteria. Select the appropriate criteria from the different sections, depending on what appointment and which clinician you want to look for. You can select clinicians in the usual way from the search screen, either by searching for them individually or going to the list here. Once you have the clinicians that you want to search for, click OK. Alternatively, you can use the preset session holder filters. There's also some advanced criteria you can add, such as days of the week, etc., if they're applicable. Just click OK once you've selected the appropriate criteria to add it to your filter. Depending on your criteria that you've selected, it will display a list of appointments available. You can look at earlier or later appointments. You can cancel your criteria if it's not applicable or alternatively select the appointment you wish to book and click book appointment. The usual template is displayed so you can fill in your reason and your notes for the booking and then click book to confirm. If a patient wants to cancel appointment, select the appointment and click cancel on the ribbon. A list of cancellation reasons is available. Select the appropriate reason and click cancel appointment. If the patient decides at the point of booking they'd just like to change their appointment but not cancel, you can just simply right click over the appointment and choose the cut option, find the new slot and right click and choose the paste function. This will move the appointment. If you need to book a double slot for your patient, highlight the two slots that you require and right click and book new patient or book current patient. If booking a new patient, search for the patient in the normal way, select them and then fill in the appointment details and click book. 
the double appointment has now been made. If you need to add a comment into the appointment list, perhaps because the patient's running late, right click over the slot and there's an option to add a comment after the slot. Type in the comment and click OK. So let's have a look at some of the other options that you've got when you right click over a booked appointment. You can go to slot actions and insert appointments that begin in or the end or in the middle of a session. You can squeeze in an extra appointment if your clinic's full. You can view the medical record from here as well for the patient and you can go to slot properties to look at booking info and more general information about your slot. When you right click over a free slot and go to slot actions you have a few more options. You can split a slot, add a slot, you can insert slots or delete slots from here. If you want to search for a patient's appointment history for cancelled, past, current appointments, click on a patient appointments on the ribbon at the top and you can search for a patient. You can also search on the appointment book to see if a patient has a booking just by clicking search book and typing their name in here. To clear the filter, just click the cross. When the patient arrives at the surgery, you need to mark the appointment as arrived on the appointment book. Locate the appointment and select it and press A on the keyboard. This will mark the appointment as arrived so the clinician knows the patient's here. If you've marked the wrong patient as arrived or you need to change the status of the appointment, right click and go to change slot status. In here, it will allow you to either select cancel status and reset to book or press C on the keyboard or you can press W on the keyboard or select walked out if the patient's left before their appointment. You can also see the options that the clinician has to call the patient in from here. Thank you for watching and please check out some of our other videos.